starters. Polanco, right field, launches it deep and gone. And the first Major League home run for Gregory Polanco is a big one. Six Pittsburgh, but what a night because he opens up so quickly. That's hit well to left center field. Delman Young going back, and that ball's gone. A home run for Andrew McCutcheon, his first. Yeah, so his first major league home run. It's a two run home run here with one out in the third inning. All the ball coming back into play and McCutcheon will say thank you. Get me that ball back. In the first. Put him in the dugout. It's true. And a base hit to right. Harrison will score. So they do get that run anyway. And it's. 2 1 hit in the air to left. Schwarber will not be able to get it. At least two will score. It's three to nothing. McCutcheon and Freeze are in. It's and the Pirate shortstop. Ground ball and a base hit. Bell is in. They're going to try to score Osuna, and he is safe. Mercer will head to second as the ball trickled away from Contreras. It's five to nothing. Fly ball to left. It's deep and it is gone. That's a grand slam. Francisco Cervelli makes it nine to nothing. Wow. Cervelli with his fourth home run of the year. He's more of a singles and doubles guy. I think two of those four home runs have come against the Cubs now. And Mid inning change. McCutcheon high in the air, left center, still carrying, and it is gone. It's 10 to nothing. Oh, he's got to go get him. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hoping to end the first half on a hopeful note, and obviously anything but. And Joe's on his way out. Just an, an awfully rough day here for, uh, for John Lester, and I hope the fans do not respond in a negative way. I mean, it's obviously not. In the center field, Kane on the run, and he cannot get it. It's going to go to a wall. Tying run is in. Here comes Moran. Relay Saladino, and it goes through. Kratz, and the Pirates win. A five game series sweep for the Pittsburgh Pirates as they rally twice in the ninth to tie it, in the tenth to win it. Braun of base hits. In the air, center field, hit well. Back is new and highs. It is up, it is off the wall. Harrison around second on his way to third. And the throw comes in, it goes into the dugout, and the game is going to end on a throwing error. Harrison scores, and the Pirates walk off the Brewers on a throwing error from the cutoff man, Jeanette. Marte, 23 years old, from the Dominican Republic. Going for the first pitch and hitting it high to left center field off Dallas Keuchel. A deep drive for Marte, and that is a big splash as he breaks into the major leagues with a leadoff homer on the very first pitch. Wow, how about that? First pitch he sees in a big league uniform leading off a ball game. 5-4 game here in the ninth. That's why here comes around third Phillips. Here comes the throw to the plate. It will be 
in time, and Phillips is nailed at the plate. A base hit by Frazier, but a perfect throw by Marte nails Brandon Phillips at the plate. Rip to left, sinking. Marte comes in. Did he hold on? He did. Starling Marte single-handedly saves the Pirates here in the ninth. First, a perfect throw to the plate, nabs Brandon Phillips. Then a diving catch with the potential tying and winning runs, both heading to the plate, ends the ball game. Blanco at 2.45 on the year. And he has taken over as the Pirates leadoff hitter. And on the first pitch, it is well hit. It is on its way, and it is gone! A home run! The scoreless streak ends on the first pitch after 37 consecutive innings. Polanco's sixth home run of the year. One to nothing Pirates. Into left field. That's well hit. Van Slyke is back at the wall. A three-run home run. Francisco Luriano. That is his first big league home run. Now for the Pirates, it's great timing. And is unavailable today. Harrison hits high, drive to left. Granderson onto the warning track. Leaps and gone. The no-hitter in the game, gone in one swing. Your heart breaks for Rich Hill. Drive to left, Reed Johnson going back, and it is gone into the basket. A go-ahead grand slam for Derek Lee. The 12th of his career. And the Pirates lead 7-5. Derek Lee, coming back to the National League, has hit three home runs. He's now knocked in eight, and they've all been against the Cubs. In the air, right center field, well hit. Gomez on the run, and it's done. Three run to home run, and the Pirates have the lead. Lynn and Jim Leland. Line drive well hit left center field. Al Martin comes across and makes the catch and what a catch it was. That's about as good as you'll see. So the Cubs kept off the scoreboard by the heroics of Al Martin as he takes one away from Scott Service and what an effort this is. No runs a hit the Cubs leave. down. Sherholtz will make the turn. And Bird dropped it. David Bell's going to send him. Throw to the plate. He is out. And the Pirates hang on. Oh my, what a finish. Well, they get the heroic swing of the bat by Starlin Marte and then a bang-bang play at the plate. Russell Martin heaves the ball into the left field corner. And the Pirates take a big step closer to clinching a playoff spot. One ball, two strikes. Bouncer to first. Throw to second one. Return throw to first. And the Pittsburgh Pirates are headed to the playoffs.
Fly ball well hit. Deep center. Almora will have to play it off the wall. Rodriguez around third will score easily. And Jason will take off for third. He was going to stop at second. Throw gets away and fortunately stays in play. Eight to four. Well, if they give him a triple, it's a cycle. I thought he was going to stop at second. Yeah. Change winning pitcher a couple of times, saving pitcher a couple of times. And now here's Lee getting a base on ball. Well, you never know. We got four in the eighth to take the lead, and they came right back with four. Ground ball, base hit, a broken bat grounder. Wilkerson busts his bat, but he singles to right. Again, the, the hit is made possible by the fact that the first baseman's holding the runner on. Base hit, left field. Holy cow. And now the bases are loaded with nobody out, and all the good hitters are coming up. Three and two. Four base hit. Down the left field line. One run in. Two runs are in. Bell doubled down the left field line. There's a long drive, deep center, going to be caught. And Walton has it. Another run scored. 12 to 10 ball game. A sacrifice fly hit by Van Slyke. He walked him. And now the bases are loaded. Line drive, base hit. It's a 12 to 11 game. As Bonds lined a single to right. The delivery. All four. And Don Slot comes up with a tying run at third, the winning run at second, and a runner at first, and Rivas. There's a tying run to the score. Way back, that might be the ball game. It is. The game is over in the Pirates. In unbelievable fashion, have won another ball game. They've come back from behind, seven to two. And then behind, 12 to seven. And now they've won it, 13 to 12. Ball and two strikes. Hit to right field. Pence back. Pence at the wall, off the top of the wall. Marte is going to go for three. Adrianza's throw is going to be late, and it gets by everybody. And here comes Marte, and the throw home, and they got him! Unbelievable is Marte tried the Little League home run, and this game is going extra innings. <laughs> And that's the ball game. So the Pirates snap the Giants' six-game winning streak on a field play. And Starling Marte scores all the way from first. And that is caught by Walker. And out there at third base. Triple play. Now it's a triple play. It wasn't until they threw the second. A triple play turned by Pittsburgh. And he scored the game tying run, so it's 5-5 in the ninth. Fly ball hammered, right center field. That one is going to go in a big way, and the Pittsburgh Pirates get a game-winning grand slam in the ninth inning, and the Cubs let one get away in the ninth.
career grand slam for two players. Michael Barrett, but more importantly, Rob McCoyak, the product of Oak Lawn, Illinois, breaks the hearts of the Cubs here in the ninth. He's driven in 24 in his ninth home run, and the Pirates, who tried mightily on the basis to give it to the Cubs, hit it out of the ballpark to take it away. Should not have done, and that's going to enable Polanco to get to second. Campbell missed the tag, and finally, and then Tejada missed him too, and he's safe. Oh wow! The Mets will argue that he ran out of the baseline, which he did appear to do, and that's what Terry Collins will come out to say. <laughs> 